Okay, so here we're told that lines ST and UV meet at point L. So here we have, sorry about that, ST right here and UV right here and they meet here point L. So angle O is 60 degrees, so here's angle O and angle G is 20 degrees here. We want to find the measures of angle R and B. So R is just supplemental to O. They form a straight line. So that means R equals 120 degrees, since 120 plus 60 is 180. And here, next, I would look at the fact that O is a vertical angle with this piece right here, right? So um, angle O and this piece right here both form a 60 degree angle. So now I can find angle B, right? I have angle O is 60 here. And I guess I don't need to find this piece um, to find angle B. I just want to point out that O is not the vertical angle to G because G is formed by two different lines in angle O. But what I can do is look at the fact that angle R is a vertical angle to both B and G. Right? Put B and G together and you get a vertical angle to R. Right? You can see that this line and this line here form angle R and the angle um, formed by B and G. So that just means that angle R, which is 120, right, is equal to angle G, which is 20, plus angle B. So we define angle B. You subtract 20 from both sides, and you can see that angle B equals 100 degrees, right? So angle B here is 100 degrees. Thanks.